Hey everyone, welcome back to Joliet English Stories. I'm excited to have you here. Sunny Sails, A Peaceful Journey Through Life's Isles, Chapter 1, Retirement Bliss. Life after retirement was good. It was like a nice, peaceful time. I have a little ship called the Cheerful Voyager. It has pretty blue sails. We sail on the big sea to find interesting things in the Isles of Words. My friend is a dog named Sonny. He listens to me talk a lot, and you're here too, but you're in my thoughts. I draw maps and write about the islands. I want to show you the shores and the waves. If I find special things, I'll draw them for you. Some things are hard to explain, but I'll try. Maybe we can understand each other better. Chapter 2 Funny Hats on Cap Island We sailed to an island that looked like a big cap. The sea was bumpy, but we landed safely. A man with a big cap made of strange things came to us. He had ropes, scissors, buttons, and more on his cap. He said funny things like, I'll eat my cap if you can sail back across the sea in that little boat. The people on the island wore big caps, too. They bet everything with, I'll eat my cap, in their words. I think you might find them interesting, but sometimes they were not very kind. They believed being right was the most important thing. I remembered you a bit in them. Chapter 3 The Island of Fair and Unfair We reached an island where everything was in equal parts. Trees, fences, and people were all the same. But they were not happy. They didn't like getting the short end of things. People in the market argued a lot. They never agreed on the deals. Even the lawyers talked about the long end and the short end. It made me think about what is fair, and if it matters. I saw a small person and a big person arguing about sharing stew. They both wanted more, but neither was happy. It made me wonder if fairness is a real thing. Chapter 4 Gossip and Games on Planner's Island Planner's Island is small, but it has two villages. Twisties and Turners live there. During the day, they are friendly, but at night, they separate. Twisties tell stories, and Turners play a game called Just Deserts. I tried to join the Twisties, but they gossiped about me. So, I went to the Turners. They played a game where they moved pieces on a board. It looked like the island. They said it was about turning things back on the twisties. Thinking about it made me remember us, and how things got complicated. Chapter 5 The Amazing Simple Things on Almost Island Almost Island was big and filled with amazing things. But it was silent and no one was there. An old person told me they and their friend Alex built the whole place. They were smart, but realized happiness is in simple things, like holding hands and saying nice things. I felt a bit sad, thinking about simple happiness. I wanted to meet Alex, but they weren't there. Chapter 6 Heading Home to Quadrant Island Sonny, my dog, knows we're going home. He's happy. We're sailing to Quadrant Island. I hope to find you there. The cheerful voyager has proofs of my journey. I'm not the same person. I hope you'll see and understand. We can start again on Quadrant Island. Hey everyone, welcome back to Joliet English Stories. I'm excited to have you here. If you're new, 
make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's have some fun together. Oliver's Safe Retirement Routine Chapter 1 Oliver's Safe Routine Once upon a time, there was a man named Oliver who had retired. He liked his life after retirement because it was peaceful. Every Sunday, Oliver did something special. He planned what he would eat for the whole week. He looked at his meals and felt proud of them. There was rice, chicken, and broccoli on his table. It might seem a little boring, but Oliver liked it because it was safe. Chapter 2 Tempting Thoughts While washing dishes, Oliver's mind wandered. He thought about delicious food, like burgers, with cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. But he told himself to stop thinking about it. As he dried the dishes, Oliver imagined eating deep-fried potatoes with his burger. But he couldn't do it, because it was not safe for him. Still, he tried to focus on what he was doing. Chapter 3 Dreams of Chocolate Cake At night, Oliver had a dream. It was about a chocolate cake from a long time ago. The cake had rich frosting, and he could still taste it in his dream. But Oliver knew that eating such things had consequences. His family had a special gene, and his mother once told him about his grandfather. His grandfather loved desserts, and eating them made him travel back in time. Chapter 4 A Safe Job and Routine Calls Oliver had a job. He worked with numbers, and he liked it because it was safe. He did the same thing every day. He had the same meals, chicken and rice. He talked to his mother every day. She worried about him being too safe. She told him to enjoy life while he still could. But Oliver didn't want to change. Chapter 5 Discovery of a Notebook One day, Oliver found something exciting. A notebook from his grandfather. It was filled with faded writing, but Oliver wanted to know its secrets. He learned that eating certain foods could make his grandfather travel through time. The notebook had a key, and Oliver felt curious about it. Chapter 6 Noodles and Time Travel One day, Oliver decided to try something new. He went to a Thai restaurant and ate noodles. Surprisingly, something magical happened. He traveled back in time by five years. The faded writing in the notebook became clear. Oliver realized he could explore different times and enjoy new experiences. Chapter 7 Adventures Through Time Embracing the idea of time travel, Oliver went on exciting adventures. He tasted different foods, made friends, and worked odd jobs in various cities. Oliver felt happy and free for the first time. His fear was gone, replaced by the joy of discovering new things. Chapter 8 Grandfather's Lessons In Florence, Oliver met his grandfather from the past. They talked about life and ate Brussels sprouts. Oliver learned that these sprouts could counteract the effects of time travel. Together, they laughed and enjoyed the richness of life, creating stories that went beyond the boundaries of past and present. Chapter 9 A Legacy of Laughter and Time Oliver and his grandfather laughed in the face of time. They shared stories and created a legacy of joy and laughter that stretched across different eras. Oliver was no longer afraid. With his grandfather, he embraced the unpredictability of life 
and found happiness in the moments that transcended time.